box and say, here's your guarantor right here, how's that? And you know, that's okay, but we really like to have a person that we can kind of, you know, what make, so yeah. make life difficult. <laughs> Did you have a question? No. That, I mean, that was the question. I guess the most, most people want to put it in an LLC and deal. I guess how do you get the deal with that 10 million and how you, you have to have a bunch of other control of? We would no, we wouldn't be able to control it, but we'd want to see verification kind of on a certain, you know, every quarter or every six months that that money's still there. And, yeah. yeah. So would that's, you do that way, or I mean, do you guys have I haven't yeah, seen it happen very often, but it does happen. Be when somebody doesn't want to guarantee something. So I talked to Rick Howa. You may have heard the name Rick Howa. Howa Construction. Uh, they were huge here in the, I don't know, 70s, 80s. Had an airplane, had uh, horses. They were going all over the country. He was building everything. Uh, last thing I saw him look at was marmalade, and that kind of didn't go so well. Um, Actually, his son, JR, just started with Intra-Met Properties or Intra-West pro Properties, but uh, I ran into him at Starbucks downtown just two weeks ago, and he said, how are you guys doing? I said, great, how are you doing? He said, great, and he says, are you, what kind of loans are you doing? And I said, well, everything we do has a guarantee, because I won't give you a guarantee. And I said, well, we would never do a loan with you then. And he says, and I said, are you getting loans from other banks that are not requiring recourse? And he said, yeah, and I'm just going, you're, Yes, I mean, I mean, nobody's doing that. Uh, unless it's a permanent loan uh, that's fully stabilized, fully occupied, you're going to get a CMBS lender or maybe a bank that would go non recourse at 60%. But uh, anyway, I like Rick. He's a good guy. He's getting kind of old, kind of crotchety. But uh, what is not Rick? <laughs> is, is anyone. Is there anyone out there building spec right now getting loans? Is, what's the profile um, of that? Well, I, interestingly, when I saw the uh, slide that um, Ryan put up on the uh, market cycle mm -hmm. uh, and whether we're in recovery or expansion, and the one thing about expansion was construction is happening. And, uh, and I was thinking about that because if you drive down the freeway, just a little bit south of 90th, it's kind of actually in that Sandy Civic Center area. There's a brand new building going up there. I saw that. I don't know who's doing that. Um, uh, there's stuff a little further south on the east side of the freeway. Um, I've seen various office buildings going up. Um, in fact, the Boyer deal on uh, first south and about second east across from the old Questar building. I thought that was going up spec, but I think Par Watt up signed a lease for the top two floors. So I think it's, I don't know, 30% pre-leased. But, so I'm not really seeing, uh, I don't know about those other buildings though. They might be spec. I'd be surprised. Yeah. Boyer's got some land out there off, just before 123rd, if you're going south, on the right side after Argosy University and that Art Institute, there's some land there they want to build on. I think Tom Stewart Construction is, is putting something up there too, and I don't know if that's spec or not. Uh, I don't know. We we would I couldn't get any. Like I said, I couldn't. I, only thing I could do on office is if it's if probably at least sixty percent pre-leased, and then by that time there's going to be all kinds of banks all over it. Any? I just want to mention. I don't know if you guys all saw my email, but. Um, Tom West is the one who approached the local Urban Land Institute and said that he wanted to sponsor at least 10 students to be members of the ULI next year, and specifically he wants there to be a better relationship between ULI Utah and the MRED program. He's the one who, who reached out and said that he sees a lot of value in the MRED degree and he wants to see those students engaging in ULI. So um, I, in the email I put July 1st. And we'll Good guy. Uh, John West is the father. <laughs> Um, his son, John F. West, is kind of pretty much kind of running things now, but John West Sr. is, uh, is, is a longtime uh, real estate developer around here. Um, you know, they're good guys. And we just renewed our program membership with ULI, and those scholarships are available if you guys want to become members. So. Okay. Anything else? All right, so next week, um, 
Danny is going to it's going to be a six to nine class on market feasibility. Um, analysis. Market analysis. I'll yeah. see if I can be here. I'd like to come here. Well, yeah. So in uh, yeah. hopefully, well, yeah, it might be six to nine, depending on how deep you guys want to go. So. All right. So we've got about a month left to the final. Uh,